Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the characteristics of cloud computing. Guys. So, we will be discussing about characteristics of cloud computing, advantages of cloud computing as well as disadvantages of cloud computing. We will be discussing about these three topics guys. So, basically whenever there is a question like explain about cloud computing in detail. So, you can write the definition and you can follow up with these things guys because we want some lengthy answers right. So, basically by writing these things you can elaborate your answers and you can increase your understanding okay. Yes. So characteristics of cloud computing, the first characteristic is high availability and reliability guys. So basically what is the main advantage of cloud computing guys? So it can be accessed from anywhere, right? So assume that currently you are in India, okay, and you are working in your office. Okay, yes. So you are you are working in a cloud environment guys, okay? So assume in that way, okay, you did all those things. So once uh, you traveled to some other place, so assume that you went to a world tour and you are now in USA. So basically now you are in USA and you want to access some of your project files. So in that situation as you stored them in the cloud. So just by using the cloud login ID and password you can access them right. Yes you will be giving your login ID and password you will be opening the files you can get all the files right. Yes. So that is the major advantage guys the availability is really good so basically as the availability is uh, as the files everything are stored in the servers and the servers will rarely get any issues guys so we'll be watching for some websites right server is down like that so basically those things will not happen basically it's really rare you can say like even many cloud providers they, they say like 99.99 percent of availability so in that way they say they are that much sure about it guys okay the availability of a server is a high and more reliable because the chances of infrastructure failure is very minimum okay similarly highly scalable okay so basically assume that currently today you bought some cloud storage so basically i'll be taking some simple examples only guys okay yes so assume that you took some cloud storage you thought that initially you are recording some videos or you are doing something so you thought that 100 gb will be fine you took it you paid you paid the payment and everything is done okay yes so after a few weeks so basically you took a one month plan or one year plan and after a few weeks you realized that your 100 gb isn't enough so you wanted to move to 1 tb okay so at this at this time your cloud provider will be happy to do that so basically whenever you want to increase or you want to decrease your space or anything so basically that thing of is called a scalability guys okay so basically your cloud cloud, cloud provider will be happy to do that to do to do, do those things so basically cloud offers on demand provision of resources on large scale with ease so basically whenever you want to increase your speed or anything so basically i told in terms of storage but when it comes to the computational power you can increase your cpu so you can increase your ram you can increase your processing speed and all those things okay yes similarly device and location independence so basically if you want to open some file so at that time you can use your mobile phone you can use your pc you can use your uh, laptop you can use your ipad or any kind of device so basically you can use it on any device because most of the cloud providing websites are 100 percent optimized to run on any device guys okay similarly location independence so basically i told you right so what is cloud it can be available anywhere so basically you can access it from anywhere right yes so that is also a simple advantage of it so cloud computing enables the user to access system using a web browser regardless of their location or what device they are using it might be pc mobile ipad anything okay yes maintenance so the major advantage you can say this is this also comes under the advantage only so basically most of the maintenance of your servers and all those things will be taken by the providers guys okay so assume that you took some uh, space or something in google drive or somewhere so are you checking everything or are you managing anything are you maintaining anything no you will be just storing your files and you will go you will uh, leave the place and you will come back whenever you need files again right so just dropping them that's it so there is no particular organization or anything which you are doing right Inter internally so all the maintenance work so any kind of cleaning any kind of recycle bins. so basically recycle bins will be cleaned every 30 days guys so in that way they will manage okay yes so maintenance of cloud computing application is easy since they do not need to install on each user computing and one more thing is so whenever you want to access any cloud computing website or anything so everything will be online guys so there is no need of for you to install any kind of application to run it so that's also a major advantage you can say okay similarly low cost so basically when you compare okay so assume that you want to buy a system okay so that you want to buy a high-end system okay so in that situation if you want to buy it and you want it for limited time only so in that situation buying it will not be a good idea right so renting it from somewhere will be a good idea right yes so in that way it is a low cost thing guys because we will be paying as per our use pay per use they say 
So how much you use, you are going to pay for that. Got it? Yes. Similarly, services in paper use that. That's what I told you, right? Yes. Okay. So now let us continue with some advantages and disadvantages. So basically the characteristics will be the advantages guys in simple words. So the easy backup and restore of data is possible. Similarly, improving of collaboration. Similarly, excellent accessibility. Similarly, low maintenance cost. Similarly, mobility is easy. So basically you can move, right? Yes. Similarly, huge storage capacity. So you will be having. Similarly, you can follow the paper use model right yes. so these are some advantages so you might be saying that okay so then everything is advantage you are saying so are there any disadvantages yes so what if your internet connection is not good guys assume that you are in a village and you want to access the files then it will be really a hard time right yes so pure, poor internet connection will be a huge issue and vendor lock-in will also be an issue guys so vendor lock-in is a concept where so basically assume that you started a business guys Okay, so you took in a small company, you took some hostings place and everything. Okay, and you worked on your company and you grow your company in such a way that this company, sorry, this vendor or this, uh, this uh, provider service provider is not able to fulfill your requirement. So at this moment, you want to move from that cloud provider to some other, right? So at that time, if he is not allowing you to move. Or if he is saying that you should stay here based on some contracts or anything, or his file structure is completely different when compared to this guy's file structure. So in these situations, you cannot directly migrate from one server to one cloud provider to another cloud provider. So this concept of having different different file structures, different different formats is nothing but vendor lock-in, guys. So we'll be discussing about these scenarios and all those things in fourth unit, I think. So so don't worry. Okay, one vendor may use one file structure and other vendor may use some other file structure. Hence, if we want to transfer files, it will be a bit complex. In simple words, this is written. Okay, yes. Okay, and one more disadvantage is you are having very minimum control, right? So basically, if you want to change any kind of file structure, so basically, assume that your service provider told you to keep photos in this folder and videos in this folder and you cannot mix them. So that is an issue, right? So those kind of limitations might be there based on your cloud provider okay similarly security so security will obviously be an issue because it is not in our hands right so at any moment of time your cloud provider can give you a hand right so basically he will say that everything is protected everything and when your data everything is fine he will just give you a hand and he will collect all your data and he can sell it or he can do anything with it okay yes so these are some disadvantages advantages and characteristics okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea so in the next lecture let us continue with the cloud computing architecture okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching